Go D B baby. <laughs> Pretty hoes. <laughs> and the other girls too. Chicken. Chicken's fucking all thin. It's like, damn, blade doesn't want to cut through it because it's all mushy. Beat the hell off this chick. <laughs> Oh shit.
I hate these fucking, I hate these dials on this fucking oven or stoves, man. Alright. I cannot regulate heat for shit. It's either too much or it's not enough. Strides, what up? Ain't doing too much, man. Just doing the normal cooking thing. Today I'm just kind of doing a little freestyle. Fucking from the last episode we did chicken Kiev, but uh, my producer got all fucking ham sauce and fell out on me. So I tried to rush things. So I only made a couple. Me and Sandra and tried them out. They came out all right, but I tried to rush it at the end, so I kind of fucked them up a little, I think. But I still had a lot of leftover chicken with butter and shit still rolled up. So I just I'm cutting that up right now to put sauteing it up. And then I'm gonna make a sauce from all the bits that are left in the pan. So, doing that, and then we got the red potatoes from that same episode that I didn't use, and I'm boiling them and just gonna whip them up for mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes. I thought I had some onion and shit left from one of the other episodes, but I guess I don't. I could have used that to help with that when I make the sauce at the end. And I just made like a little seasoning, a Cajun seasoning. I looked it up online, so it wasn't all me, but I tweaked it a little, but I give credit where it's due, so. But it's not bad. It smells fucking good as hell in here, so. Last episode all over again.
And a good way to do potatoes, do it with the water not boiling. Don't like get the water boiling and then put the potatoes in. Some people think it makes the cooking time quicker or whatever, but potatoes don't come out right because of the starch that's in them. So you get like the dry, chunky potato. If you want to get them nice and smooth, you do it with cold water or room temp water, whatever, you know. Fucking put your potatoes in first, salt your water, and then bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, bring it to a simmer and just let them do their thing. That way a lot of the starch gets cooked out of them so you don't get like the thick, tough potatoes. You get nice creamy ones. Double G, nigga. See you, brother, you, but you can't see me, nigga. Who am I? It's corrupt, motherfucker. Who gives a fuck, motherfucker? Go right in. Cause I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, pack my bitch and clear the toner. Biatch. And my niggas and my bitches bring your motherfucking hands in the air. I'm keeping the chickens in the freezer just so that one, if they firm up a little, it'll be easier for me to cut them. And two, all the butter doesn't just like leak out and melt everywhere. So it gives me a little bit of time to try to, I'm cutting it with the butter and everything in it. All of it's going to go in the pan, just going to add to the sauce. So they're like crispy, whatever, just nice, nice color on one side and flip them over. Let them go for a little longer. And then carry over heat will bring them just to about whatever. And I got the oven set at 200 to finish them off. Let's start with the potatoes to get done, so. What else are you doing? Hmm? What else are you doing? Potatoes. Potatoes, I'm making a sauce out of all the stuff that's at the bottom of this pan. I gotta make chicken stock so I can deglaze the pan a little and then pull up all that shit and then make the slurry and fucking thicken it up and Jack and Chicken. Jack and Chicken. Jack and Chicken. Too bad I didn't have any fucking. Oh, dude, actually. You might have to give me a little bit of that rum to use it to deglaze the pan with, and I can use that to make a sauce. Rum or beer? Rum. We're going to do the rum. We're going to try this out. It's first time I'm using alcohol like this. I know the techniques of using it. I've just never done it before, really, unless I was in class. Man, my heat's too hot on here. I can smell it. Beating your ass down to the concrete. Everybody's watching these three and never have been any viewers. What? 
everybody's watching E3, so we're not getting any viewers. Yeah, well, hopefully some people will come through. Someone where we can like rebroadcast this tomorrow as like a thing? Well, yeah, I'm recording it. Alright, cool. So I don't, it's not just on Twitch, I'll have the actual recording now. That's what's up. I never even I recorded any of the other episodes. I know, we should have did that. I could have been able to fucking... Oh, that's that joint. I am cooking. I'm just freestyling right now today. We've had some leftover shit from the last episode that I didn't get to cook, so... Um, I just made a little Cajun seasoning, looked up the recipe online, because, uh, I, I know flavors and stuff, it's just, like, measurements is my thing, so it's like, I wanted to make sure it wasn't too hot, or had too much fucking onion, or too much garlic, so I looked up a recipe and seen what, kind of how they were doing with the measurements, and I kind of just altered it a little bit to make it the way I wanted it. But uh, just the chicken from the last episode was chicken Kiev, so I got a herb butter that was inside the inside the uh, the chicken breast that I had pounded out, and all I'm doing is cutting them up into chunks, frying them off, whatever, and I'm gonna deglaze this with uh, with rum, and I'm gonna make a sauce out of it to go with the potato uh, mashed potatoes. I might save a little bit of what of like the base of the I guess you want to call it, the flavor I'm gonna use for the sauce and I'm gonna take some of it out so I can make a gravy so that the kids can eat potatoes and not have liquor in their shape. So and then I'll have a little bit of it saved off for the rest of us so that we can have it with the sauce and shit. Cause I'm gonna try to toss it in with this to try to make it like I don't know. I'm just kind of going by ear so. I'm just kind of fucking around with shit, so I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm sorry you're hungry, George, man, but you can't watch a cooking show while you're hungry or smoking, so either one of the two, you got to have to either not smoke before you watch the show or eat something before you watch the show. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm shopping hungry. <laughs> you shouldn't cook while you're hungry either because you really don't know what the hell you want to do. And like right now, I'm kind of just playing it by ear, seeing what I'm going to make. Now, before I was adding a lot more of the seasoning at, in the beginning. Right now, I'm only going to add just enough like that, maybe a little bit more. Because a lot of the, the those, that same seasoning is burnt to the bottom of the pan. So every time I add in diff, more butter... It kind of makes like, it'll get the flavors and everything on the chicken again. So it's like, I don't have to put that much seasoning because it's already in the no. pan. Go, unnatural, you belong to me, I belong to you. Girl, I never meant to hurt you. Boy. Yeah, he's a full time chef, went to school. Yeah. If you check out my page, my channel, whatever. 
got a picture of me the day I graduated school. You know, this song is dope, dude. I love this song, man. It brings back some good memories, man. I don't care what anyone says, man. Reminds me of me and the homies back in the day. Oh, Riley's in the chat. What up, Riley? Woof, woof. Ma, 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 ma. There we go. There we go. fucking around and shit. <laughs> I know I've been fucking up your life and everything, but I'm here to tell you. I just want to make everything okay. <laughs> what am I exactly making? Um, Fried chicken and potatoes. Chicken and potatoes, yeah. I mean, that's about, I mean, easiest way to say it. Cajun chicken, I guess. I made a Cajun, Cajun spice. Throw that together. I'm going to make a sauce. Gravy for potatoes, sauce for the adults. I'm gonna do rum, a rum-based Cajun sauce. I'm gonna try that out, see what happens. Kind of just freestyling, going off the top of the head. No recipes today, so it's just that's why I'm not in chef gear. So we're just having a good old fucking leftover day and just chilling. Doing it, doing it, doing it well. Why'd you have to bring them back? Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't. Get past the fuck out. Here. <laughs> but still. Represent Queens, you was raised on Brooklyn. Goddamn high again, fuck. Hate this stupid fucking oven. Stove, whatever the fuck you want to call it. burn shit now, god damn it. You don't want the black flakes. I mean, it's still good shit, but it's not what you want to try to get. So we're going to put my flame down a little and just have to fucking deal with it. Doing it. 
This oven, like, the knobs, they're so fucking, like, not tuned for shit. So, like, I could I can move this thing a fucking cunt hair, and it goes from, like, low heat to, like, fucking medium high. And it's fucking ridiculous. Nah, because I, I wanted, I needed to get the bits on there. If I use a non-stick, I won't get the right fucking shit I need for the sauce. I just gotta be more careful with my heat. Cause all that all that's goodness in the bottom of that pan there. That just means I gotta hurry up and get the rest of this chicken cooked off. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Snapchat Don't open Snapchat. If I had a cast iron fucking gas stove or whatever, that would be fucking legit fucking shit right there. Because the shit that I'm trying to do right now would be boss with a cast iron pan. But unfortunately, I have to use a stainless steel and try to make the best of it. I'll still get the same results, just the cast iron pan would be a hell of a lot fucking better. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Up in here. Up in here, up in here. Y'all go make me act a fool. Up in here, up in here. We got one more chicken breast left to cut up and cook, so I think we'll be good. This is a freestyle episode so I mean I didn't plan any of this shit really I kind of was just like oh I got the day off or whatever let's fucking do a show and we're all a little broke right now so fucking <laughs> we already had the chicken here so it's like fuck let's do it Stein's where it's at, fucking Riley. You know what's up. If I could afford to get all cast iron shit, I so fucking would. It would be, yeah. <laughs> Alright, potatoes are fucking nice and tender. So I'm gonna shut that off. I, 
A glass stove? What do you mean by a glass stove? I've never heard like of that. Glass, like the glass stove. What? Yeah, tempered glass. It's like high tech space age. I'm about to fucking look that one up. Oh, gas stove. Oh, but they do have glass electric stove. That'd be nah. Fuck that shit. Gas stove is where it's at. You can control your heat. Fucking moderate heat better. Fucking electric. No. Use the rest of the seasonings, but smooth top like a griddle I like using the fucking flat top shit that shit's where it's at to do certain I mean if you gotta do certain things with it I don't know it depends I guess I just need a kitchen big enough to have everything I need in it so I got my knife from work the one the, this is what I have to bring to work every fucking day or this is what I have at work every day that holds all my fucking shit I use when I'm at work this is a real knife not the fucking bullshit that Rich has. I told him he's not gonna live that down until he gets new knives. It's fucking, <laughs> that shit's horrible. <laughs> and the other ad endorsement for this episode will be St. Ives. Premium, high gravity, malt liquor, old school, especially listening to this song. It's like, hell yeah, fucking so. A flat top would be a glass stove, because flat tops are usually the iron, like the ones at the restaurants, like the ones I've worked on, were like just iron flat tops or whatever the fuck, steel, whatever the fuck they use to make them. It's, uh, got paprika, it's paprika, uh, Garlic powder, onion powder, uh, black pepper, salt, and uh, cayenne pepper. A little bit more on the paprika side than than like the other flavors. Like the paprika and the onion, or paprika and garlic, are the ones that that stand out the most in this one. Stainless steel knives, yeah, those are alright. I like stainless steel. I hate that ceramic bullshit. 
I was going in the cupboard for something. What the fuck was I going in here for? Oh yeah, the fucking the strainer. Getting caught up in chat. Yeah, paprika is a good thing to go with chicken. It's a good thing to do with roasted potatoes too. It gives you good color. It gives you a smoky type flavor with it. They have to get like the smoked paprika or the, the hot smoked paprika. Yeah, it's just, it's good shit. Oh, don't have enough fat in here. It's starting to stick a little too much. More butter. You know. You keep your motherfucking head ringing. Keep your head ringing. Government banned drinks. Oh, it did. The government banned beverages for children under the age of eight, so you just lucked out because you're seven. Sorry, you can't drink anything. If you drink anything, they're going to put you in jail. You want to go to jail, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this song came on today on that new radio station, 102.5. I was banging that shit on the way to the store, man. I was like, oh, shit, really? Like, they're... Man, that radio station is good shit. Good shit, man. What up, Creamer? I mean, three hundred dollars for a block—that ain't bad. But I seen some other ones online that a little bit smaller of a set for like it was like seventy something would have been perfect. Had all the knives I like in it, and yeah, it was G. It just, it just didn't have the steak knives. Cause I don't need steak knives. Like the the knives Rich has for steak knives aren't bad. It's just the whatever knives they have for like you trying to actually do your fucking job with are the ones that suck. Alright, let these go for a little bit longer and they should be good. I'll spread these out evenly and put them in the oven. Oven set to 200. That should give me enough time. Because they're almost done. I mean, they'll probably be off by like 10. Here, you know what? We'll even check one just to, just so you guys know I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. Find the thickest, biggest piece you can find. Grab your thermometer. Mine happens to be an Insta read, so I can fucking prove whatever. And I was gonna say they'd be about 10 degrees off. If not, they'll be just on point.
And you gotta wait for it. Make sure when you do your thermometer, don't just hook it in and be like, oh, the first thing that pops up, that's the number. No, you gotta let it do its thing and register. Once it stops for at least 10 to 15 seconds, that's when you know you got the right reading. So right now I'm sitting at about 146, so I'm a little lower than what I thought. But that's where I want it because how much time it'll be in the oven at 200 will be just enough time with carryover to push them up to where they gotta go. And even though these ones have been sitting out, the carryover still happens, so. All right, I'm gonna turn the flame off on that real quick just cause I don't wanna burn this up too much more than what it already is. Try to keep some of that heat up in there. Just spread the chicken out nice and evenly. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Dig team's back again. Dial ones, yes, I do prefer the dial ones a little bit more than the digitals because dial ones you can calibrate yourself. So like every time you pull that motherfucker out, you can calibrate it exactly and make sure it's on point. With the thermo with the the digital ones, either they don't have a they don't have a way for you to actually calibrate it because they're supposed to be like that, or you can do like some kind of reset bullshit to it, but it's like what the fuck? Like, I don't know. And if you drop them and shit like that, they get broken and everything like that. I mean, the same thing with the dial one, but still, you can calibrate it to where it would go back to read normal. I got them candy thermometers. We should make candies. I keep telling you, we can do candy. We just got to make sure we have enough sugar. And I gotta get. I got that one fucking peanut brittle shit that I do. Cause you can do that, and then I can show people how to make like lollipops or something. Hell yeah. I would just need food coloring. Cause that's all it is, is food coloring and pulled sugar. Hell yeah. Now I just need to get, make sure I had sticks like the, the lollipop sticks or something I can use to fucking. That's why we need to get a fucking butter, or not a butter churn, but an ice cream and a butter thing. So I can show people how to make butter and fucking ice cream. I know how to do that shit too. Turn it up. <laughs> Turn it down for what? <laughs> Turn it up. Oh. Turn it up in this bitch. I almost just banged my head against the fucking hood. But my hat stopped me. <laughs> it was like... All right, so for these potatoes right here, you got a masher that works, but I got a I got a wire whisk that works too. Just gonna smash them up. The water I flavored with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of garlic, just to try to get the flavor of garlic potato in the potato without having to add extra shit to it. That way you can make them real creamy and. Should have did it when it was warm, so I could have put fucking. See, I was thinking about maybe skewers. I think toothpicks would be a little too small. I mean, you'd have to like double or triple up on the toothpick when you put them in. But then I guess if you set them in the mold, it wouldn't matter, because they'd still be part of the fuck. But I don't want a bunch of kids running around with a bunch of like like five toothpicks in their fucking mouth all of a sudden and fucking trip and fall, and there goes a fucking lawsuit, and there goes my show. Like, no, I don't want to do that. So we might, we might use the skewers instead and cut off the tip so that no one gets cut. Used to make chocolate candies. I know how to make chocolate too. 
But I don't have the shit here to do that. Like, I need a marble table and fucking offset spats and fucking... I'm gonna need a really big big mixer or at least a stand mixer where I could do some shit with and fucking, I don't know, like... It's a lot of crap I would have to, to, get, to do to get that one, but... I've done that shit before. I used to work at a chocolate factory too, out in New Hope, Minnesota. See a KitchenAid stand mixer, see if I can get me one of those, it'd be a fucking wrap. Like, I could do so much more shit, like pizza doughs, fucking pie doughs, well I could do pie doughs from scratch without a mixer, but... It's just so much easier to use a mixer. <laughs> like these potatoes I could have put in the mixer and I'd be fucking, they'd be mashed already, but no. I gotta keep it 100. Fuck being 100 sometimes. think about that but half the time they ain't got all the like they don't have the dough the dough hooks missing the whisk is missing or they got the whole stand mixer but none of the attachments and it's like nah fuck that i and then you know get the warranty if something bad happens to it because i like to drink when i cook and sometimes shit gets a little crazy and it's like i would like to have a warranty on my blender or my mixer so that i know if i break it i can get a new one so <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of this milk to to get the uh, the potatoes on point. Just letting you guys know, cause it's not my milk. I'm lactose. I can't drink milk like that. But eating it in, in potatoes or whatever ain't too bad. But having it in small amounts, I'm okay. It's when I like want to drink a glass of milk or eat a bowl of cereal. That's when it's like, oh, you fucked up, man. See how I can, I mean, I got them to look, I got them creamy without even having to fucking use the mixer, but this is because I did the whole, put them in regular water, let them come to a boil, and then put the back down to simmer so that fucking, it cooks all the starch out, you don't get those fucking whatever type of potatoes that are all stiff and like you need gravy. You can eat these right now and not even fucking have to worry about gravy. Could have added a little bit more garlic, probably, but otherwise, it's not bad. And it still has a little bit of chunk to it, so it's still like old school, home, like homemade fucking bullshit. Now, taste it. I'll put that back in here after you put your mouth oh, on. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my fucking head in the pan. <laughs> no. All right. And you left the skin on? Yeah, yeah, that's how you gotta do it, man. Old school, yeah. man. Fuck, man. Oh. <laughs> it's freestyle day today. Because I keep trying to tell people that watch the show to fucking give me ideas, but no one wants to say anything. One person said something one time. And it was for gumbo. And it's like, yeah, gumbo, I can do that, but that's a process. Like, that's like a two, a two episode show. Like, I have to get two day, two days off in a row, exactly, to make that happen. Right. Just cause otherwise it's gonna be like a fucking, like a twelve hour process, and I'm pretty sure people don't want to sit around for twelve hours watching me make gumbo. Cause you don't never know. 
Never know, yeah, but I don't think that would happen. <laughs> Whoever this Su Susa, Susa J, use on point, man. Like, he knows his flavors. It's just that I don't have no nutmeg here. I need a warranty on my drinks. <laughs> Chicken jambalaya, I could do that. Shit, I could probably switch this up and do that. Cause I essentially did. Oh no, that wouldn't work out. Cause you would want to have the chicken be like braised in liquid, not fried off. Maybe chicken jambalaya would be a good one. We'll try that one out. We'll see how I. I usually look for a recipe and then tweak it the way I want and then see if it, you know, if I can do it with the stuff I have. Cause I don't have a whole lot of items. Like usually to do like jambalayas and shit like that, a Dutch oven would be where it's at, but. Honestly, I wouldn't know what to tell you to make. Whatever the hell, you can think of anything that would come to mind that you know, he'd be like, oh, I've always wanted to know how to make fucking, uh, like macaroni and cheese. I was saying that today. And it's like, fuck, I could show you just how to make easy mac and cheese or whatever, you know? Maybe we'll do an episode like that where it's not just about the entree. Like, we'll just do an episode full of sides. Like, how to make certain sides and shit. That'd be what's up. You know, macaroni and cheese, green bean casserole, fucking, Yeah. I made green bean casserole from scratch a couple years ago for Thanksgiving and people fucking were all over it. It was crazy. But I need some rum from Rich real quick because one, I need to deglaze my pan and two, I would like to have a shot. <laughs> shot for me this is the shot for everyone on stream that's watching me right now thanks for watching if you guys follow thanks for the following if you guys want to follow me on my channel rich already posted it in there a couple of times so hopefully you guys join i try to do this every time i have a day off so thanks to you guys because without you guys watching i wouldn't fucking be here so all right pans back on the heat do your deglazed it if you can, either with the heat off or take your pan away from the open flame that alcohol is very flammable with. You don't want to fuck around and burn your house down trying to be cool and shit. cook off some of the alcohol and start scraping the bottom a little bit to try to get all that goodness off the bottom you gotta take your pan off the heat a little bit to do it you can too just you just want to make sure you cook out a lot of that alcohol type because right now what you're just going to do is cook off all the alcohol. It's not really fucking anything else than that. And then once the alcohol is cooked off, that kind of helps deglaze the pan and take all the bits off.
Now from this right here, I can add more fat to it, like butter, and let the butter melt down, and then add equal parts of flour to it to make a roux based out of that. See, I'm looking at the way that looks, and that looks a little too burnt for me, so I don't know if I'm gonna use that. So, I don't know. But I just put the rum in it. It should be fine, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, like today. Today is a fucking freestyle day, so if we fuck up a little bit, we fuck up a little bit, but the key about being a fuck up is you always have a backup plan, and I already got one in my head right now, so. Not saying that I'm a fuck up all the time, but I do have a really good track record, so. And right now I'm just gonna boil some water and put some chicken bouillon into it and that will make me my poor man's chicken stock. Maybe one day we'll do an episode on how to make stocks from scratch, which it's kind of a process, but it's so worth it once you get it down. Hell yeah, I can make noodles from scratch. I mean, I do it old school tradition. Like, uh, I guess a lot of people just like, they'll, they'll add in like certain ingredients and like, you know, like baking powder or yeast or some shit like that, baking soda, stuff to try to like make the noodles fluffy and fucking whatever sometimes or whatever. Me, nope, just a pinch of salt, one egg and like a cup of flour or maybe two cups. I can't remember the exact whatever, but that's the old school method. You make a well, put the flour on the on the counter, make a well in it, drop your egg, and put your little bit of salt into it, or whatever other flavors you want to add into your noodles. And you start in by put, bringing a little bit of the flour in together with the egg and slowly getting it together. And you just keep adding a little bit more, a little bit more at a time to make sure everything's all incorporated. And by the time you get the mound down and your you know everything's gone, your dough is like perfect consistency. Give it a couple of good kneads or whatever. Let it rest for like maybe 30 minutes. Put a little a tea towel over it. And then if you got a pasta roller, you can fucking uh, roll out your pastas and do what you got to do with them. Chocolates. I would do chocolates if I had like a marble countertop or something like that. Or even like a marble slab that I can put a little chocolate on. Because... That's how you cool the chocolate real good and then not have it be like, I think it's like air bubbles or crystals or some bullshit that happens with it. And if you do it on the marble, the marble is such a good conductor of heat that like all the heat just gets synced out of it. And it's like, that's good shit. Like you want that. That's another way to do it too if you want to try to get your noodles to be on point like that too. But for fresh noodles, I like to do them just straight right out the fucking thing and put them right in the fucking, you know, water. Right in this like simmering, like high simmer water, not boiling. Because uh, the noodles are going to be so delicate, you're not going to do them like how you would do box noodles. Because box noodles are dried out. See now egg noodles would be just like how I described the old school way. But I think egg noodle gets its gets its name from the way it's cut. Cause like even with all the like all the noodles from Italy, they're all made with that same old school recipe. And some flour, some egg, and some salt, and maybe a little bit of water. But it's how you cut the noodle, that depends on what it is. Like a fettuccine noodle will be flat and you know so so thick and flat. Or you can find another noodle that's thick and flat, but it won't be fettuccine. It'd be something different. I can't remember the name of it right now. And just like spaghetti, spaghetti and versimilium, or whatever how the hell you say it, 
They both look like the same type of noodle because they are. It's just that one is thicker. Spaghetti is thicker than that. So that's how fucking you got to distinguish between the different noodles. But other than that, I mean, it's all the same recipe. Stream a continental breakfast? Actually, that's not a bad fucking idea. Do a breakfast show? With an egg wash, yep. We might have to do a breakfast show. I think next episode might have to be breakfast show. We do it every we do breakfast every morning if you fucking wake up. So I'm up at eight. Yeah, well, <laughs> fucking. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we could do one, but we, do we have food here to do a breakfast thing? Yeah. Exactly. Eggs and like. I gotta go shopping. Bake. There should be bacon. Yeah, there's bacon here. Right. But that's not enough bacon to do what I want to do. Cause I already thought about doing a brunch one that had I was gonna do waffles. Cause I thought, oh, we don't have a waffle iron. And I was like, and I looked in the cupboard and I was like, yes, we fucking got a waffle iron. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Breakfast for dinner. Whoop whoop. Ba 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 ba. Breakfast in the noche. Buffalo Soldier, Redneck Rasta. Well, right now I'm just waiting for the water to boil so I can do my little cheap man's uh, chicken stock. And we're going to see if this sauce comes out the way I want it to. If it doesn't, we'll have a backup because I'm, I'm going to split this into half. And we're. Because I figure the kids, two kids are asleep. There's only one kid I have to feed. So, well, those are eight. They had McDonald's. Oh, well. I know Sammy's waiting. Sammy would kind of inspire the show today. Because I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I was like, should I roast the potatoes or mash them? I mean, he was like, you should definitely do mashed potatoes. And I was like, all right. And I was like, should I bread the chicken or should I coat the chicken or just fry it up? I was like, if I fry it up, this, the sauce might not stick with good. But if I do it, whatever, I could, you know, if I bread it, the sauce will stick. And he was like, do it the second way or the first way or whatever. That way, I was like, okay, I guess we're not breading them then. Yeah, to let you guys know, a seven-year-old dictate what I was doing today for the show. I had the ideas, <laughs> but he told me what he wanted to eat. So this is... I mean, I know I give these kids a lot of shit, and I like fucking with them because it's fun, but, <laughs> but uh, now nah, when it comes to me cooking, the kids know that, damn, if Marcus is cooking, we want to eat some good shit tonight. Ah, uh, George has that shirt. <laughs> yeah, Walmart special. <laughs> Pretty sure that's where it got it. <laughs> Walmart Target. Redneck roster. Uh, chicken bouillon like instead of getting the cubes uh, the dollar store by my house sells it in fucking already powder pre-crushed shit so you just add it to you know make it look like chicken broth I guess you know what I'm saying but that's what I added to the pot now I'm gonna put the pan back on heat get this back up to heat and try to see if we can make this sauce right Right now we got some 
some new Snoop Dogg and Dogg for that ass. This one is called The Shiznit. You about to go downtown, bitch, right here on the station that plays on the platinum. As soon as I start to heal a, hear a sizzle or anything in the pan, that's when I'm going to add the liquid because I want the pan to be hot enough to, when I add the liquid, all this shit would kind of float out of it, like to de deglaze the pan, but I'm not sure about this mixture right now. And now we're gonna have that on high heat till it comes to a boil. And then while we're doing that, we're gonna take the whisk and we're gonna scrape the bottom of the pan and try to get all that goodness out, if it's good. I'm hoping I didn't burn it too badly, but today was freestyle, so. I mean, I know what I'm doing, it's just, the equipment I have, I have to make sure I can do it right. And today was, I didn't plan for shit. I just woke up and was like, oh, I got the day off, we're doing a show. And this is what we're doing, so. Poor mansion in stock, exactly. No, I did make this with rum to deglaze. Usually when you deglaze, you use like wine or some kind of alcohol. Well, the only alcohol we had right now was fucking rum. So we're gonna do a rum Cajun sauce if this works the way I want it to. Take the whisk, you know, get that, get all the bottom bits out. Try to get as much as you can. Now, originally, I would have done this with, I would have put more butter in the pan and then let the butter do its thing and get all the flavors put into it. Or deglaze, put butter in, let the butter do its thing, melt down, get all the flavors into it, and then add flour and then make a roux. But since we don't have flour, we're doing it the cheap man's way and we're gonna make a slurry instead. Yeah, see, okay, yeah, see, so, Sosa, he knows what's up. Uh, to answer... To answer Riley, yes, I fucking, uh, when I cook the turkey or chicken, whatever I do, if I do a whole turkey or whatever, and I, like, have the rack and all that, all the drippings that go in there, I use as a fucking, as my stock, so to say. And, you know, I'll put carrots and potatoes and onions on the bottom, so all the juices get all that in there and, like, it all marinates to this thing, makes good sauce. But, um, and to answer George... Yeah, um, I've seen that $10 dinner, and that shit's not bad, and they do make some pretty bomb shit, but you have to have a kitchen that's already stocked with stuff to do a $10 dinner, because, I mean, this cost me 40 but I had to buy extra shit. Now that I had, or the Kiev cost me 40 but since I already bought the chicken, I already had the herbs here, today, this didn't cost me nothing. So, you know, and it's just leftovers from a fucking... The, the last episode, so it's like, you know. Oh shit! This is my joint. Very first time that I kissed your brown eye. First time <laughs> that I kissed your brown eye. <laughs> 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 Pussy lips at head level, and I said hi. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I was thinking about going sweet with it, but with the rum, I mean, the rum and the sweetness would work out the way I want it to, but I don't know if I add enough rum to whatever I'm doing, and with the chicken stock, I might dilute a little shit, so I mean, like I said, we're freestyling today, but you are on point with it. I understand what you're, what you're saying. Just like you. Yeah, yeah. First time you be my friend. I be your one and only. Promise that you never leave me lonely. One you need. Oh, baby. Be the one who serves you. If I don't deserve you. You gonna serve me like this? That we share. And if I am in love again. Lady, like my hand. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin the song, nigga. <laughs> No, but ruin this song talking about ham will. This is a good song. No ham song. No, no ham talk. thick on me so we're gonna try to thin it out a little bit with some chicken stock get that right consistency right about there because you want the chicken stock to pick up the flavor a little bit too so you want to simmer a little bit before you do your thing with it this DJ be warm and G. See, it coat the spoon well. That's good. So you know we got it thick enough. You want it to be able to coat the back of a spoon, which in French term it's called nappe. But. Ooh, that's not too bad. Hey, y'all, come through. Come through and check it out, both y'all. Go fucking shut the hell up, man. What? The fuck is that? Just dip it in. This is the sauce. <laughs> Look evil. <laughs> Like, honest opinion, because I know the shit might have been a little burnt. It's not gravy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? That's what, that's what I'm going for. Yeah. All right. He's a young motherfucker. Let's put that right back in my bin. That's one of my spoons. Got that sauce. Put that in my bin. That's one of my spoons. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. All right, try it out real quick. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? That's what's up. Alright. What do you got, fucking silver plated spoons or something? <laughs> nah, they're, they're just the ones I got from, from, you know, it's the ones I use for work. I gotta make sure I keep all my spoons on point.
I first got into cooking, I don't know, probably when I was like five or six. I used to do a lot of cooking with my grandma and stuff. And uh, she kind of got me into like the whole routine of cooking. And it was like the whole uh, like holiday situation at first. Like every holiday, I would always cook with my grandma. And that's kind of how I got into it. And then I was like 17 and my home was, I just got done cooking some shit, just on the fly, freestyling, doing whatever. And they were like, dude, you're pretty good at that, man. Maybe you should, uh, you know, think about going to school or something. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I, maybe I will. And then a couple years later, I ended up going to the Cordon Blue, And I was there for about, eh, I want to say maybe almost about the time I was going to graduate. So I was probably about six, six months away or six weeks away from graduation. They kicked me out. I was homeless and couldn't make the school on time and shit, so I got kicked out of school and didn't do shit for a couple years, kind of worked at some random places and uh, tried to stay above my cooking, but uh, didn't really get too far with it. And then when I decided to go back to school, I went to the Art Institute and uh, that's when I had my daughter and like I was hoping that... I would have been able to start school earlier, but no, like, I had my daughter on the 15th, or on the 17th, at one fi her birthday and her time that she's born are like the same thing, except for I flip-flop them, but she was born on one seventeen at one fifteen in the morning, and I started my first day of college again at AI on the 17th, so, yeah, I... Had my daughter and then fucking no, no, because she was born. Wait, she was born at one fifteen. Yeah, she was born at one fifteen on the seventeenth, and I started school on the fucking nineteenth. There we go. There we go. But yeah, that's how all that happened. I went there, graduated, graduated in two thousand eleven, and oh, what up, Lainey? Fucking graduated in 2011, and that's that's about it. Worked random places since then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chef Hive. If I had the cream, that'd be what sucks. I would have just used cream for the potatoes or for the sauce to try to lighten it up and to give it a little bit more whatever with it. Oh no, my uh, it's not on the flame anymore, it's turned off. So like, I just got enough to come to boil to make sure everything was on point and that's it. I mean, residual heat will be there for a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it being that hot where it will burn out my fucking sauce. So I just gotta make sure I give it a good whisk. Might have to add a little bit more chicken stock to it depending on how much it cools. Cause adding the slurry, the slurry is a little bit more of a different animal than fucking using a, a roux. Well, with the roux, it's all equal parts. You can add it together, figure out your math, know what, know exactly how much you need to add in. Where with a slurry, you kind of just eyeball it and you kind of go from there. So, um, today, Lainey, we are freestyling. I had leftover chicken from the last episode and leftover potatoes from the last episode, and we just kind of. Just, I did a Cajun seasoning for the chicken, cooked it in the pan, and then used all the stuff, deglazed the pan with, with rum, and made a sauce out of rum and the goodness that I cooked the chicken in. And our chicken should be on point. Looks fucking bomb. The banana one didn't come out as well. Good shit. So I have to chew on the back of it. I'm gonna lift the biggest piece and we're gonna rip it open just to make sure 
There's no pink in it, and there's none. So, it's fucking phenomenal. It's really good. You got a little bit of the rum sauce in it, a little bit of the rum flavor in the sauce. I could have probably added a little more, but I didn't want to take away from drinking, so we could have used beer. That could have been another one, but I don't think beer would have had enough alcohol to like whatever content to make sure that the pan got deglazed right. Now, if we had like we're making a batter with beer, that would be one thing, but I think with deglazing a pan with that would not be the way I would want to go about it. And every fucking thing I've seen ever done with deglazing has been with wine or, or liquors, like, you know, bottles, not beer, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, people gonna find me on Facebook too, man. Okay, right now we're gonna do a little plug. Rich, hit, hit people up in the chat with the plug for whatever. Oh shit, I gotta make one of those. How do I do that? You make a Twitter mainly. I got a Twitter too. I just made a Twitter account. What? I just made a Twitter account. What's your, oh. What's the name on it? I don't know, I gotta figure it out again. Thank you, Lainey, for letting people know about my shit. Alright, so, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a little bit of the chicken to this sauce here. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to give Sammy a sauce that has alcohol in it. So, <laughs> please don't. The alcohol burns off. It is, so I mean, technically it's just flavor, but I, I don't know how Sandra feels about that, so we're just going to go the safe way and we're going to do two separate things. I'll leave him enough chicken where if he gets hungry again, he can eat some more. And if he's not hungry, I'm going to eat it. Now I'm just putting the heat on enough so that the sauce can get a little bit warm back up and it will coat a little easier because then once the sauce cools off, it'd be almost like a glaze type sauce that would be on it. And then I'm gonna put that over mashed potatoes and you eat it all in one scoop. You get a little bit of potato, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of sauce, and you're good to go. Baby got bags. I wish I had a baby that had bags. Uh, on 
don't want him to be left out with the sauce thing. So we're gonna get this chicken stock thing that I have in the back here going real quick. We'll add a little bit of the Cajun, a little honey, make it a little sweet for him. And we'll, we'll, we'll glaze his chicken up too so that he doesn't feel left out. seen you new shit on stream I've been working I work six days a week so like I'm lucky this week I got two days off I got tomorrow off too but unfortunately we're a little too broke to do a show tomorrow unless we can pull some out of our asses but I don't know Gok, Goksi, Goksi, I hope I'm not butchering your name, but I kind of just freestyled tonight and made some shit, so we had some chicken left over from the last episode, I cut it up, diced it up, whatever, fucking made a, a rum, rum Cajun sauce to go with it, I got this little bit over here, I'm making another little thing of chicken stock and make a little bit of a glazed sauce for the little man that's here because... We do not condone little kids drinking alcohol or consuming alcohol. So this is what I'm doing to make sure his shit's okay. I mean, granted, when you cook with alcohol, you cook a lot of the alcohol off, you know, whatever. But his mom is here, and his mom was like, "Hey, I was." She appreciates me doing this, so this is what we're gonna do. Brother da. -da. Na 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 This is some of the Cajun sauce I had or Cajun uh, season I made earlier. Uh, that's the chicken stock. Now I'm gonna make a little bit of a slurry so I can thicken up my sauce. What's exclamation point donate mean? Yeah, it would be nice if they can, if people would donate, you know, that way I could, you know. I mean, if I get enough donations tonight, I could do a show tomorrow. Maybe the, the continental breakfast, you know what I'm saying? Because that shit sounds fun. <laughs> Starch. Oh shit, hell yeah, Brian Brisket for fucking that's what's up, yo shit. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Mm. 
Yeah, I haven't brined anything yet. I mean, I know that the application's for it, but I've never done it yet. And I'm thinking I'm going to do it next time with uh, a chicken or a turkey. I'm going to try to do that with. What up, Honor? Um, I'm just kind of freestyling tonight, man. So I got the chicken from the last episode. We did the chicken Kiev episode. I didn't cook all of it off. So I just diced that up with the butter and all. Threw it in the pan, sauteed it up. Uh, hit it with a homemade Cajun seasoning. Did that up. Deglazed it with rum and made a rum sauce to go with the chicken to go with garlic uh, Red potatoes with the skin on and Yeah, that's what we're doing today Freestyle with leftovers Leftovers a la chef nizzle I guess the way Yeah, I, I figure that's why I'm not wearing the chef coat today. It's just like, hey, it's freestyle day. So. And I'm taking requests, too. So if anyone has anything that they want to see in the next episode, let me fucking know. Because, uh, yeah, I, I can think of stuff. It's just, I want to know what you guys want to see. If, if you guys pick the shows, then you guys will, will be like wanting to watch them more, you know what I'm saying? So, Sauce tastes good. Just gonna let it keep boiling for a little bit. Actually, I might turn it down a little. Let that simmer happen on it so it can kind of condense a little more, give a little bit more flavor. Just for you, lady. I did that just for you. <laughs> Cuisine wise, I really don't have a preference because I'm a fat boy and I eat whatever the fuck I want to eat. So it's whatever. So I mean, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be Mexican food just because that's half of my, my heritage, half of my culture. So that's whatever. But to go outside of that, I would think that like Asian food is my is the best shit right now. I love Asian food, but it's so fucking hard to cook because there's techniques and, and herbs and spices and vegetables and meat that I've never cooked with before that I have no idea how to fucking do shit. So I keep it pretty simple when I make my own shit. Like, I don't like squid. I won't eat that shit. Oh, I'll eat the fuck out of it though. No, fuck that. Then you can do that show. And I'll be, I'll play producer. We'll, we'll even we'll even call it we'll even call it Rish. It we'll even call it we'll call it Rish Nizzle 101. <laughs> It'd be a branch off from the show. Took off. Yeah, I've done hand pulled noodles before. That's we were just talking about that earlier in the stream. Once this cools off, it'll thicken up a little bit too. It'll be more like a gravy, so not too worried about it. I want to make it too thick and then try to thin it out. But it's got a good flavor on it, no alcohol, and it's not bad with the chicken.
But the other thing about cooking Asian food too is that I don't know what it is about Asian food, but like 30 minutes later, man, you're fucking hungry again. You know, like you know, trying to be portion sized and do whatever that happens with the with Chinese cuisine because pretty much anything that's not American portion sizes and all that shit are way fucking different. Like it's ridiculous. My favorite color, well, I got like three of them. It's black, white, and green. My favorite colors. So, hence the reason why I got the, you know, green shirt, black hat, black and white hat. That's my favorite colors. Hey, how do you say that name, Rich? You read better than I do. Karen in the box. Karen in the box? Karen in, Karen in the box. Karen in the box. Thank you for watching the show. And yeah, you probably shouldn't watch this show if you're hungry. Wesker lover, thank you for watching. Um, my gauges right now, they're double zero right now. I might go bigger, but I'm not 100% sure yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, George, man. If I could like, if this was like the future future, I could just teleport some food to y'all, I so would, but. Ramen noodle and eggs, hell yeah, dude. Now, another way you can do it if you got hot dogs or some spam, do like a little fucking like, uh, like stir fry with it, dude. I'm telling you, man, it's on point. Don't use so much liquid. So you cook your noodles out, drain off your noodles, but leave like enough liquid in there to make the sauce. You know, like, like enough liquid to make a sauce with the packet. And then when you do that, you get your eggs, Get eggs going, or get uh, your hot dogs frying the pan, or your spam frying. The oh, run that! You skipped like three songs, nigga. What the fuck? But uh, dude, real close. That's Minnesota born, nigga. Yeah, well, I heard it about a fucking thousand. <laughs> I don't want to hear about a guy getting a heart on the middle of the dance floor. Sure you do. I'll be right back, y'all. Taste it. Make sure, cause it's just so that you know. I don't know what you're gonna eat. There's no alcohol in it. Okay, so give it to him. I don't need to taste it. Just make it sure. I don't want you to be all like, oh my god, and then all of a sudden start acting weird, and it's like, oh, you know what? I might have given him the wrong sauce. <laughs> Alright, so what I have here is for the kid. Pretty much same exact sauce as this, but just without no alcohol in it. Same potato, same chicken, same whatever. Just no alcohol with the with the sauce. Actually we'll give him a little bit more of the sauce too, just so that he gets the full effect. The full effect!
I suppose it should probably feed my fucking background crew that keeps my shit running. So we're gonna plate them up with the the shit that has the whiskey or the rum in it. Oh man, what you? Can we get down? Forget out your seat and jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Can I fit two in there? No, I gotta do it one at a time. Should have put a little bit more rum in it, get more of that flavor, but it's not bad. Like, not your traditional Cajun, but all the flavors are there for a traditional Cajun seasoning, just tweaked a little different. I thought that was really good, and I was like, really good. Kid approved. Kid approved. Can't touch this. Exactly. Hammer time. Hammer time. The song gave my last three too. Can't no one touch this. I'm the first cat on oh, Twitch. Man, I still got that weight. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm the first cat that that started on Twitch cooking. Anyone that follows after that is just not on my level. Not to be cocky, just saying, like, fuck, I started it, so I set the bar pretty fucking high. I mean, the way I think. Have a time. <laughs> what did he say? sauce and everything into it so that it gives your potatoes a little bit of flavor too. Midwest, all day, every day, by ourselves, no help, fucking. <laughs> well, thank you, Steady Storm. If I read that right, Steady, Steady, Steady Tom. Ah, Eastside Education at its finest. But uh, I just kind of freestyled today. The last episode we did, we had chicken Kiev. So I had compound butter put inside of a pound out chicken breast. Just kind of diced them up, sauteed them up, made a fucking sauce from the drippings, did a rum, a rum Cajun sauce. And then we have uh, Sandra, which is our coal producer. Uh, her son's here, so I made him just a, I guess a Cajun gravy to go with his, with his meal, and thanks for the follow. Color coordinator, girl and boy. 
Can't touch this. Can't touch this. trying to upgrade and everything and get shit on point like we this is this is the fourth episode so i didn't really think anyone was gonna actually like want to watch it but it seems to be turning out pretty fucking good so you know hopefully more people start watching and you know maybe we can get a little, little few donations here and there to fucking make sure the show stays running other than that fuck man you know we'll keep doing our thing as long as y'all y'all want to keep watching Oh shit, I haven't heard this in a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I tattoo on Twitch. I am the only tattoo artist that live streams on Twitch. And that is how, like, you know, we work. Get him hyped up and into it, and put him on his own channel. Yeah, glad you have a channel. Video games, they have tattoos once a week for doing this show. Yeah. Um, I just got like the DJ set up going. We're interactive? Yeah, I guess we are kind of, huh? <laughs> put a little bit more rum in the sauce though sauce needs a little bit of work I think but tails are kind of overpowering the, the sauce a little bit so either we need, I need to make the sauce thicker or I need to add a little bit more seasoning to this the sauce after I make it but like I said it was a freestyle day today so we just kind of fucked around and see what happened and this is what happened episode if anyone was on the last episode we made chicken Kiev and a lot of chicken left over from the Kiev episode so what I did today was just cut up the chicken diced it up with the butter and all sauteed it up used all the goodness and the flavoring from that plus a little bit of Cajun seasoning that I found a recipe online for did that made a sauce out of it when we deglazed the pan with rum. So it's a rum Cajun sauce over garlic uh, baby red potatoes. Not bad, but definitely could use some work. So this one's definitely gotta go into a recipe. Like I gotta write this down before I forget. Are you new? Well, that's what's up, man. Thanks for watching. Right now, I'm twitching. I'm twitching. 
I guess I yeah, I'm twitching off my homeboy's account because uh my account, my computer is not 100% up yet. We're, we're all roommates. Like, everyone, like, the dude you see on stream besides me, he's my roommate. We're in the same house. So, and, uh, we do a lot of different stuff. He does tattooing. We play video games. And now we're branching off into cooking, so. But uh, definitely check out my channel once it's linked. I mean, you can follow me if you want. I'm at a uh, on Twitch. Just type in Chef Nizzo. It'd be S H E F N I Z L E. And follow if you like my show because we're gonna keep doing it. So. Nice, thank you, man. Thanks for the follow, yo. Can I swing the camera, or can you do it without? Always be broke. I don't know, Giddy Bell. See, I'm a fucking mess. Yeah, fuck. I want to go sit down. Freestyle today, you know, so this is what we got for freestyle. I see 10 point cancer. It's awesome. Hit approved right there. <laughs> don't think you have enough good enough computers. I don't. <laughs> I got a laptop sitting in the freaking That's my screen <laughs> for my for my chat, yeah. <laughs> I got another gaming PC in the living room that I haven't even fucked with yet. And now I got the one at the shop. The quad car is at the shop. If the home is can't have none. Sound y'all zoned out. <laughs> Check the itis. <laughs> What's up? Down here. Watch out for the chicken. That's what's up. See? I ain't gonna fucking judge. <laughs> what cooking show do you know has a fucking kid as a judge and he actually likes the food? We may be we may be hood rich when it comes to the cooking show part, like the pans and the tools, but we're not hood rich when it comes to how we get it done. Like we <laughs> I owe a lot of money for my computer right now. Thanks for that man. Why is the frame sucking on my damn camera? Hamburger. Hamburger. Thanks for the follow. Hamburger. Another follow. Thank you so much. 
Hell yeah. Make sure y'all don't forget to check me out too, shit. Yeah, I think if, if I would have put a little bit more rum in it, the salt would have gotten cut out a little bit more. But I didn't want to use too much rum, so. But you can barely taste it in there. So you can see how I got that glaze color on it? That's from the fucking alcohol and shit. Fucking awesome. Hey, great. It wasn't too bad. I gotta grab some more real quick, shit. <laughs> What is that, Laney? Red sheep. Come down to our spot and be part of our studio audience. I'll say that, baby. Well, not you have to. It would be like 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 five people. George lives in Minneapolis, I think. I heard he said where he lives now. I forget. Oh, Shaka Pete. Oh Shaka hell yeah, Pete. man! Fuck. fucking tripod for this camera.
Mm-hmm. But we did. What if Stacy's mom was Jesse's girl and her number was 8675309? That's. Damn. I had a triangle. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Like when you put your shit on the t-shirt. What? No, 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 no. Back it says it's on point. What? <laughs> Let me. <laughs> oh, spread shirt. I thought 